you can see all my bags are packed, ready to go here. It's a bag for my computer and stuff. Here's my tools, very, very heavy. Very, very heavy, that one. Okay. And uh, then we've got my camera equipment and some more tools and stuff in here. And, um, and then this is my sleeping bag and my tripod. And just, just, just a shirt and a pair of pants is really all that's in there. All the food is just going to have to stay here because it's not possible, not possible to really carry any more. It's just really, really, really heavy, and the tools is the main thing. Well, at least I made the bed today, and um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to book a ticket on National Express because. Um, I found a way to get there. What a job. I spent the whole day trying to find a way to get there. And I have to go to Hereford by bus on my pension um, pass. And then I have to buy this cheap uh, ticket. This is to Stamford. £27.10. It goes to London. And then it takes me to Stamford. Stansted Airport and then I found that I can get from Stansted by my pensioner bus pass down to Kenley Island and all this stuff links together and so I get there I have to leave in the morning and I get there tomorrow morning and I get there at about 8.30 at night as long as I don't miss any buses carrying all my stuff and so here we go we're going to try and um, and book this now how do we do this More info, what's this? Continue, oh here we go. Oh we don't want Birmingham Airport, what's this? We want to go by Birmingham, Hereford. Oh we haven't found our journey yet, we have to find our journey. It's so stressful, I've been so stressed all day. I haven't even got dressed yet, I'm in my dressing gown still trying to get all this sorted out because I need to move the weather's moving ah this is better now okay so 25.50 and it's leaving oh that's interesting there's two buses tomorrow one at 8 and one at 11.25 the one at 11.25 gets to Stansted Airport it says 1822, but I've got 1802. 15 to say it should be 1752 when it gets to Stansted Airport. Eighteen. No, here you go. Eighteen. Eighteen twenty-two. It gets to Stan. Eighteen twenty-two. To, that's interesting. 1822. I'm going to have to make some changes. Okay, here was my original um, trip. It was supposed to be for 1802. Now, if it only gets there at 1822, I actually worked out it could get there at 1752 by going two separate coaches from. Hereford to London and London to Stanford. But here it said I get that got to leave at 822, so I can't actually take this particular route, so I have to actually cancel this one and see if there's another one later. Um on this website. 1802 1827, 1827 and 1902. So there seems to be quite a few of them here. See what it says about that. The details I was thinking about, yeah. So it looks like it's the same route. There's quite a few buses to go on one, two, three, four, four different buses. All these changes you see, changes to the buses here. But I'm going to be able to do it. And so there's plenty of buses. I haven't got any problem there. I'm not stressed out by it anymore because I feel it's going to be okay. And so well, that's the first bus. I tried also to find my way to other buses, but this National Express seems to be 
the way to go. And so I'm going to book this one, which is from 1125 to 1822, for 25 pounds. This one here, Hereford. We don't need a return journey. But you see, it hasn't changed. Oh, 1125 to 1822, that's what we want. So now we want to continue. Okay. It's not doing anything. It's not clicking. It's so stressful, as you know. Booking some. Here we go. Booking total. Ah, you see, there's a, there's a booking fee. Okay. So you can have a standard, not refundable. You see, not refundable. And so I'm just going to take the non-refundable because, it's, I, you know, the birds know if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I have to get there. If I'm not, if I don't get there on this bus, you see, it's amendable but not refundable. So that's okay, amendable. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, that means I can change it. Works, but we can't worry about these things because we haven't got any more money to. This is like half of a hundred pounds, and so you know we need to do this economically. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Let's continue. So stressful. Pay with card. Okay, pay with card. Let's start with pay with card. Here we go. Change and go. You don't see it. It's, yeah. Oh no, we're not going to do that. Just pay with card. Pay with card. Oh, what's this? You see? It's so stressful, this, you know. I'm going to have to stop now. Okay, you get the idea. It's not easy working with these websites and travel and so on. It's taken me all day to get this far. And I actually packed my bags yesterday. And so, it's so all I've done today is try to get on the bus, get a bus sorted to get to Canway Island. <laughs> okay, thank okay, you. Okay, we've got our SMS ticket. So, so as you can see I'm still in my dressing gown and I've been all day, it's now midday, and I've been all day trying to get this journey sorted out. First I tried by to find a, an ordinary bus that would go somehow down there but so complicated, so many changes, just so difficult and so I thought no it's not possible to do this. So. It's still difficult, but it's two National Express coaches involved and a £27 ticket. Um, and so I've all booked and I'm on my way tomorrow. Um, I've just got to get to Hereford by 11.30 or so. And um, yeah, I'll be on my way to Canvey Island and I should get there in the evening about... 8 30, 9 o'clock. God willing. Thank you. Yeah, this all has to change because I notice there's a limit on bags. I want to sell you extra bag number tickets. So I'm going to have to put all these bags, or probably two, at least two or three of them, inside that bag up there. Which, um, I wasn't wanting to take, but I'm probably going to have to take that one just to get my bag numbers down to something that National Express will handle. And I don't know what I'll do with the bag afterwards, we'll see. Maybe it'll be useful for something. If it doesn't fit in the boat, it'll just have to be left behind. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it's a crazy big heavy thing now with all those tools in it and the silly little wheels. So whether I get all the way with this thing or have to resort to getting rid of it and putting everything back in bags I don't know but this will at least give me a start I have actually taken this bag 
to on National Express or Megabus to Germany before, so but never this heavy. This is so much weight with all these tools. Uh, it just shows it's impractical really to make something this size, but this is because they have these silly rules and regulations. People can't just put a number of smaller bags which are easier to carry. They've got to put it all in one big one. Well, that's the world for you. <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm looking a little bit better now and the pressure's right off because somehow I made this mistake twice. Instead of picking Wednesday, I picked Thursday by accident and it wasn't noticeable to me. In fact, when I watched the video um, that I just made of me doing the booking, um, I, could, I didn't see it then either. And it took me a long time to realize the spot, what it was that I'd actually done, because it showed just a little writing between, there was one for Wednesday and two, but two for, for uh, Thursday. But it looked like it was awful. I didn't ask for Thursday, I only asked for Wednesday. So I wasn't expecting it to show me Thursday as well. So, and, and it just said Thursday in little writing. And so you can see the danger. And I didn't even realize I'd done it. I went and paid for it, did all that stuff, and got my ticket and carried on messing around with my bags and getting ready to go tomorrow. And then I just thought I'd better actually read what it said on the ticket. When I read on the ticket, it's Thursday on the ticket, I said, oh my God, what do I do now? And then I thought, well, it's a bit rush-rush, and so I'm kind of ready to go. I went and ordered some uh, solar panel and an inverter and got that. Uh, that's going to be delivered to the boat yard at Canvey Island um, on Friday. It's, it's supposed to get there on Friday or Saturday at the latest. And so the fact that I will go on Thursday now and probably be there Friday morning, first thing Friday morning, means that that should work out okay. So I'm really, really glad now I'm going on Thursday because I can relax, I can have the day off tomorrow, and then I'll be fully ready on Thursday morning. This morning I just couldn't get, I just wanted to sleep in bed. I just was so tired with all the changes that have gone in my life because of this. <laughs>